These seven technical mistakes to avoid will immediately position yourself above the competition as a credible and professional business. After all, we are how we are perceived to be in the online world of marketing. First off, audio. It's got to be right. Viewers will put up with rough visuals, but they won't forgive poor sound. No matter what camera you're using, connect a suitable microphone to it. Even if you're shooting on a smartphone, there are plenty of microphones you can get to ensure the sound sounds right. Ideally, you want to have a camera that allows you to monitor the sound as it's been recorded. That way, you can check if there's any rubbing noises or buzzing that could be affecting the quality of the audio. If you can't plug in headphones while you record, then do a test record first and listen back to it and check it's okay. The worst case is that you finish filming, pack up everything, get back to the computer and realise the sound's dodgy. There are plenty of different microphones to use in different situations, such as a shotgun microphone, a lapel microphone or a handheld. Just make sure you're not relying on your camera microphone unless you're up really close to the camera and it's a quiet space. Poor audio makes your video feel amateurish. It undermines the credibility of what you're presenting. Point two, framing. When filming heads, put the top of the head at the top of the frame. Many newbies look through the camera and put the face in the middle of the screen. This ends up with empty space above the head. Learn to look through the viewfinder as if it was a, a framed picture on the wall. The whole frame needs to be filled. And if someone's been interviewed, give them a little space for talking room. In this case, you'd have them just off centre. Generally, if they're talking directly to the camera, have them centred in the frame. The only time you might play with this if you want to use the space on the side to add extra information, such as text points. Number three, background. Also, be aware of what's in the background of the shot. This will form part of the story you're telling, so choose wisely. Avoid filming people up against walls. It creates shadows, it's uninteresting, and it's flat. The more depth you can have in the picture, the better. Depending on what is being presented, the background provides an opportunity to show some additional information that can enhance the character of the presenter or the information you're telling. Number four, steady as she goes. A tripod is a must for newbies. For every rule, there are exceptions, but before you start breaking the rules, know why you're doing it. So for now, stick your camera on a tripod and let the presenter do the interesting stuff or let the picture tell the story. Having unexplained camera movement distracts the viewer and reminds them of the operator behind the camera rather than the presenter in front of the camera. And the impact of your message gets diluted. Lighting. Lighting brings out the colour in the picture. It gives it life. Ensure your subjects are well lit and certainly avoid having them against an extremely bright background so that they appear silhouetted. You'll find if there is not enough light, the subjects will appear dull and it'll be hard to find focus on them. If you're outside, then the sun is your primary source of light. Cloudy days are actually a great opportunity to get a bright but even balanced lighting effect. However, the scenery may not be quite as pretty, but hey, it's free. Batteries and media. Always make sure you have your batteries charged and spare recording media. There's nothing worse than running out of juice or having to wipe over something you haven't yet backed up. I tend to plan the shoot the day before it happens. I make sure the batteries are charged, spare batteries are on hand, and my media cards are either formatted, ready for a clean recording, or have plenty of space still left on them. And on that, as soon as you finish the filming, copy the media to two hard drives at least. You need to ensure you have a backup in case of any technical issues. Ideally, the drive should not be located in the same location in case of fire or theft. It's critical you've got the backups. Get in the habit of doing it every time. And seven, check before you finish your filming to make sure you've actually recorded what you need. I've seen camera operators mix up when they push record button so it stopped when it should have started. They've ended up with some quality footage of their feet and the camera then switches off just as the interviewee is about to start talking. It's much easier to quickly reshoot something on the spot rather than having to reconvene at another time simply because you didn't do a quick check. And on that, if you do spot a mistake, speak up. Get it sorted immediately. So stick to these fundamentals and you'll stand out as a credible business rather than a dodgy one that can't be trusted. If you want to watch more ways to ensure your videos hit the mark and engage your audience so that you generate more business and more sales, then click on this link just below.